The H1B guy here. And today, the H1B guy forecast, April 2021, Visa Bulletin employment-based predictions. We're back to the first Monday of the month, and it's the first of the month for the second month in a row. That means it's time for my monthly employment-based Visa Bulletin predictions. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. Please reach out. I'd love to hear how I can help you. Today's post is brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads since 2001. Thanks to everyone who checked out the H-1B Guy forecast March 2021 Visa Bulletin employment-based predictions back on February 1st. And also those who checked out the review that I did on the H-1B Guy grades March 2021 Visa predictions versus the actual bulletin released that was put out on February 25th. If you're new to this channel, I cover employment-based immigration benefits, including monthly visa bulletin predictions. Last month, I graded out at 44%, 7 out of 16. I'll continue to use the bulletins from the last six months to identify if there are any noticeable trends. Going back to October 2021, visa bulletin dates and then moving on to March 2021 dates, covering the number of days forward movement from month over month and over the last six months. So for reference, we're going to start with October 2020 visa bulletin dates. Final action dates for Indian EB1 was June 1st, 2018, EB2 September 1st, 2009, EB3 January 15th, 2010. Four final action dates for China in EB1, June 1st, 2018, EB2, March 1st, 2016, EB3, July 1st, 2017. And then final action dates for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras for EB4 was August 1st, 2017. And final action dates for Mexico for EB4, September 1st, 2018. Moving on to dates of filing for Indian EB-1, it was September 1st, 2020, uh, EB-2, May 15th, 2011, and EB-3, January 1st, 2015. Uh, for dates of filing for China and EB-1, September 1st, 2020, EB-2, October 1st, 2016, and EB-3, June 1st, 2018. And wrapping up dates of filing for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras in EB4, February 1st, 2018. And if you remember, the October 2020 Visa Bulletin was where we saw the really big jump in dates of filing, uh, specifically for India in EB3. Uh, moving on to March 2021 Visa Bulletin dates. Final action dates for India and EB1, August 1st, 2020, 213 days forward month over month, and 792 days forward in the last six months. For EB2, January 15th, 2010, 95 days forward month over month, and 287 days forward in the last six months. And India EB3, July 1st, 2010, 77 days forward month over month, and 167 days forward in the last six months. For China and EB1, April 1st, 2017, 213 days forward month over month, and 792 days forward in the last six months. For EB2, July 15th, 2016, 30 days forward month over month, and 136 days forward in the last six months. For EB3, February 1st, 2018, 31 days forward month over month, and 245 days forward in the last six months. Uh, 
For El Salvador and Guatemala and Honduras, EB4, June 1st, 2018, 47 days forward month over month, and 304 days forward in the last six months. For Mexico and EB4, January 1st, 2019, 17 days forward month over month, and 122 days forward in the last six months. For dates of filing for India for March's 2021 Visa Bulletin and EB1, March 1st, 2021, 120 days forward month over month, and 181 days forward in the last six months. For EB2, May 15th, 2011, no movement month over month or in the last six months. And EB3, January 1st, 2014, no movement month over month or the last six months. And then for China, dates of filing for March 2021, visa bulletin EB1, March 1st, 2021, 120 days forward month over month, 181 days forward in the last six months. And then EB2, October 1st, 2016, no movement month over month or the last six months. And then for EB3 for China, June 1st, 2018, no movement month over month or in the last six months. And finishing up with El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and EB4, September 1st, 2018, no movement month over month, but 212 days forward in the last six months. So with all of this being said, let's forecast the April 2021 Visa Bulletin for Employment-Based Preferences. Disclaimer, these dates are completely made up guesses based on my own personal hunches and historical data. The H-1B Guy forecast final action dates for India and EB-1, October 1st, 2020. For EB-2, February 1st, 2010. For EB-3, July 22nd, 2010. Final action dates for China. In EB1, I'm forecasting October 1st, 2020. EB2, October 1st, 2016. EB3, March 18th, excuse me, March 1st, 2018. And for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, for uh, final action dates for April 2021 Visa Bulletin, and EB4, I'm predicting July 15th, 2018. And for Mexico, and EB4, January 22nd, 2019. Moving on to dates of filing, I forecast for Indian EB1, April 1st, 2021. That date will remain current. And EB2, May 15th, 2011, and EB3, January 1st, 2014. For China and EB1, I'm predicting in dates of filing, April 1st, 2021, remaining current, and EB2, October 1st, 2016, and EB3, January 1st, 2018. And wrapping up dates of filing for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, and EB4, September 1st, 2018. So to recap, I'm forecasting final action for EB1 for India will move 61 days forward. Final action for EB2 for India will move 17 days forward. Final action for EB3 for India will move 21 days forward. Final action for EB1 China will move 61 days forward. Final action for EB2 for China will move 17 days forward. Final action EB3 for China will move 28 days forward. Final action EB4 for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras will move 44 days forward. And final action EB4 for Mexico will move 21 days forward. Dates of filing for India EB1 will move 31 days forward. No movement for dates of filing for India in EB2 or EB3 categories. Dates of filing for China EB1 will move 31 days forward. No movement for dates of filing for China EB2 and EB3 categories. And no movement for dates of filing for EB4 for El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Now it's time to forecast the release date for April's Visa Bulletin. I'm predicting Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021 as the release date of April's Visa Bulletin with Friday, March 19th, 2021 and Thursday, March 18th, 2021 as my second and third option. So recapping release dates, 
Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. Friday, March 19th, 2021. And Thursday, March 18th, 2021. Once the visa bulletin is released, I'll put together the H-1B guy grades to see how I did with this month's predictions. I did want to close out by mentioning that if you go back and take a look at the April 2020 visa bulletin, you will see dates for almost every all chargeability category. And yet here we are in 2021 covering India, China, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico only. It'll be interesting to see how final action dates move closer towards dates of filing over the next year. We saw a little bit of that creep in the last month. For the full post on the H-1B Guy forecast, April 2021 Visa Bulletin Employment-Based Predictions, please check out the H-1BGuy.com. And a reminder that today's post was brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads since 2001. This national job board network provides recruitment websites in 1,024 major U.S. metro areas. Each local job board is its own portal and is a low-cost resource for immigration recruitment ads for all industries and professions with a flat price of $225 per ad regardless of which city you choose. RecruiterNetworks.com has been the number one place for immigration attorneys, immigration ad agencies, and employers to meet the DOL requirements for the digital portion of the PERM advertisement rules. RecruiterNetworks.com. Tell them the H-1B guy sent you. Just wanted to ask you again to like this video, subscribe to the H-1B guy channel here on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H-1B Guy, your global source for all things H-1B.